Maybe he's got poop pants. Moving day. I haven't looked at myself. I'm gonna look crazy. Let's see. Moving day. Good morning. The day has come, and it is moving day. Um, we have so much to catch up on. I'm so excited. Hi, Momo. This has been the most complicated situation. Just move in, move out, all of it. Um, we have been fighting these past couple days because of it. Eh, not really, just sometimes randomly. Um, and it's just been intense. But it looks like tomorrow we are actually moving into our house. Of course, the plan can't be 100% solid. Like, there has to be something that's, like, up in the air about it. But basically, uh, the past, last week, every single day, we planned to move to the house, so we got a moving truck, everything's in boxes, and then we would get stopped at some point in the process. We got stopped because we didn't realize that we had to get approved by the HOA. We just got like a million hiccups. Everything is me, mostly packed up, but today we're gonna have to go in there and really finish everything. My Colombian girls in the comments, I already know you know exactly what this is. We had this at our wedding. I am so excited to be leaving this apartment. I'm so over the construction. I'm so over just everything. I'm just so excited for today. Ooh, the new house that we're moving to is literally like five minutes away. I think it really is just going to be perfect. I think it's going to be the perfect next little chapter for us. I think it's going to really change our experience living in Miami. We've been having a lot of fun here. Like I literally, we've been loving it. We've been having a blast. I don't know what changed. I think I know what changed. I think I was super miserable living in Miami because I felt powerless with the construction. And plus I knew it was like this thing that was like coming and not going anywhere and like gonna intensify and get worse. So I think that made me feel kind of powerless. I don't know, for the past month, I'd say Miami has been so enjoyable. We've been living it up. Like I'm super excited for this next chapter for us. We were thinking about, okay, let's go to Arizona and get a place near our house and kind of just wait for our house to be open so we can move back into our OG house. But then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, why would we go to Arizona to be near our house? That makes no sense. You don't go to a, a different side of the country to be near your house, that makes no sense. So we're staying here, we have a house for the next six months and we can extend it if we want to. So we can, we have a house for as long as we personally want it for. And that feeling of non-commitment, that non-committal little six months if I want it to be six, nine months if I want it to be nine, like that, has breathed new wind under my sails. Ew, I'm being like so like dramatic with it, but I really am so excited about this. Like I'm already planning a party on Saturday. I'm like, Henny, can I plan a party on Saturday? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just so excited. I'm gonna miss these views. Let's do a last look at these Gorgina views. Saying goodbye, oh my God. <laughs> I will not be missing this psycho construction, hell nah. Are you excited? I'm very excited for a house. I'm a house type of guy. I like being on the floor. You're my house. Thanks. You're my home. You're my home. But first, shout out to this video's sponsors, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. I have done therapy for the past four years and every single one of those appointments were virtual. I like 
being in the comfort of my own space while I talk to my therapist. Overall, therapy has made me a better friend, better mom, a better wife, and I could not recommend therapy enough. So you take a quick online quiz, answer a couple questions about yourself, and that will match you with a therapist. You can also switch therapists at no additional charge. So if you're interested, check out the link in my description and get 10% off your first month. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring that part of the video. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm gonna wake up real from his nap. If I keep jumping around and screaming about how excited I am. I'm so excited. Also, can we talk about this? This is so cute. This is inspiring me to want to get like a final version of this because I, I like the idea of this. I like the way that this makes me feel having my boy's letters on me. But this is not its final form. So for Christmas, I asked Henny to get me something like, like this, this type of energy, but like elevated. And I literally gave him a song that looks exactly like him this year. So I know he's got to get something for I honestly can't even believe what I'm seeing. I have had the perfect <laughs> excuse to not help with literally any of the moving and packing, but it's not even an excuse. I have to take care of the baby. So I spent the entire day at my grandma's house. She lives across the street and I was just taking care of Rio the whole time. So I get back to pick up my vlog camera, honey forgot it, and the apartment is empty. The movers really did the damn thing. Wow, they ate, whoa. I love a move that I don't have to lift multiple fingers. Slay. That is a definite perk of having a three month old for anything. You could just be like, I have to take care of the literal three month old. Oh, I'm gonna miss this apartment. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad because this is such a special time, like period of time that we were here. Like we literally had a newborn in here. So I have all these memories with him, such a tiny, tiny little newborn in here. So I'll miss that. I'll miss the days, you know? I'm gonna like always think about this place and think about him as a tiny, tiny, tiny little baby. And those days are never coming back and that breaks my heart. But with that being said, I am so glad to be leaving this apartment. Her time has come to an end. Okay, let's go to the new house. We have to go, because I lied and I told the valet, I'm like, I'll be right back, I will be right back. I'm not gonna take any more than two minutes. I've been here for like five. It's a white lie. Like, I'm just not going to miss this construction literally at all. Good vibe. Oh, I'm so happy. Look, it's coming. It's been a stressful move. <laughs> I was no, talking like, about I didn't like have to pack anything because I was watching the baby. Yeah. I mean, we got here just to get to this moment. It was, uh, took a while. Like, just to figure everything out and everything kind of lined, and up. lined up perfectly. Here's the oatmeal dresser. The master one. We, uh, we can't use that master. I feel like that should go over there, no? The dresser. And then there's your I'm figuring out where all the rugs are going before these guys leave because I want them to put the furniture in its spot. But if there's a rug under it, I have to decide that on now. This is going to be his nursery. I'm so excited. Damn, this is going to be a lot. This is a lot that I have to set up later, but it's all good. This is where we're at right now. Aren't the vibes in here so nice though? Like, look at how much natural lighting this place gets. I'm so excited.
Good morning. First day in the new house check. It's the first day in the new house. <laughs> did you hear that? No. He just did the biggest part and looked up and smiled at me. You are so crazy. You are so crazy. It's the first day here. I personally feel amazing. Lua looks happy. It's chaotic. We had like one toothbrush to share last night. Oh, you peeped? Huh? You peeped? Yeah. <laughs> I went first. Like everything is just disorganized. What is the jersey for? The jersey? This is my team in Brazil. Tell us about the changes we're going to do in the house. What is your game plan for the day? This is my game plan for the day. Girly Pops, if you're thinking about having a kid and you're like on the fence, honestly do it because this is what I get to do today. I get to be like, I'm going to be with the baby. Let me know if you need anything, but my hands are a little full with the baby. And then I get to just sit here and play with the cutest baby of all time while daddy figures everything out. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna put the, there's just so much and if you start like looking around too much and you don't do anything and you start thinking too much, you start freaking out because there's so much. I attempted to do the closet when he was sleeping. It's too much. And that happened to me. Everything was just in the garbage bags and then you start breaking them and it's like, I and you're can't like, handle oh this. Oh my God, it's overwhelming. So like the biggest thing is just start small and almost like don't look around and just look. <laughs> It's almost like running a marathon. You don't want to look how far it is. You just want to like look down. Left foot, right foot. Yeah. You're so funny. I hate to brag, but at one years old, I was speaking full sentences, and I feel like he's gonna be the same way because he's trying to talk already. I mean, it is goo goo gaga vibes, but it's a lot. He likes when I repeat him, so like he makes a sound and then I make a sound. I look nuts right now. <sighs> Oh my God, every time I go back, I don't sit there and watch my old videos back. In fact, I really never do. I literally upload the video and I don't think I ever watch it again, ever again. I just like pretend it doesn't exist. Hi. But sometimes I'll see the thumbnails or like a little clip will pop up and it's always the moving vlogs that I look the most crazy down. Kaku. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. This is kind of what I'm thinking. Hold on. I have to readjust. Say hello. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. I also don't know for sure. So this is the only area of the house that's basically kind of mostly figured out, I would say. I would love to do some curtains here. Henny thinks he can find them for cheap because they are super tall, but he said he's seen TikToks and there's ways to do this, like not too intensely. Honestly, this furniture setup, funny enough, looks way better in this house than it did in the apartment. Like the same exact furniture looks entirely different. I just took a vertical picture like this for my story and I'm like, um, hello, this is stunning. Like it's giving everything it has to give, this has to go. This is that like viral Amazon shoe thing. You know what I'm talking about, but she has to go. This was a copy paste from the other place and it looks good. This is the dining room. I'm thinking of wallpapering this entire room. I want to do, hold on, let me put him down because he's getting heavy. Oh my God, it's so hard to do this. I'm thinking for this room, I want to do either a wallpaper just to kind of separate this room because this house is so white, bright, and open, but this room is a dining room, but it also has like, it is kind of carved out, so I want to enhance that, but I don't want to be too obnoxious with it. I don't want to do any crazy colors or pink colors or anything funky like that, but I do want some texture, so maybe either, I'm thinking, honestly, let me know what you think would look best. A pastel wallpaper, neutral, with a tiny, dainty, floral just print and vertical lines like have you seen those like stripey ones i wanted to read like east coast bouge and not 
coquette, <laughs> but I feel like it is a fine line. Obviously the couch needs to be fluffed. I made this choice. I put this rug down here. In our last place, the rug down here was a neutral beige. And then this round, I thought I'd throw this under, but I feel like it kind of clashes with the coffee table now that I look at it. The tones are kind of similar. Like there is the same like kind of brown tones in the coffee table, so it's not like super, super standing out, but it might be clashing, but maybe when I dress up the table and add more things around it, it'll stick out less. What do you think? Do you think this checkered rug is like fun with this moment or is it not a match? What I can't wait for is to have friends over. Like I'm just done to have my friends come over. We, this house is in such a fun part of town that's so different than the Arizona house. Because in the Arizona house, what are you looking at? If we were to move to the Arizona house right now, we have like five friends in Arizona. That's it. Or in Scott, like where we were living. And here, we are surrounded by so much family and so many friends. And this is in such a hot spot, prime location that I'm like, let's not make this the party house because we have a little tiny baby. But like, let's make this the spot. So this is operation, make this the spot. He legitimately just wants to be in my arms at all time. And I don't care if it makes me toxica, but I love that. I love that he just wants to be with me. Oh, and he's so at peace when he's with me. I'm obsessed. But sometimes it gets hard when I want to put him down and film. He's like, girl, living in a gated community, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to not <laughs> anymore. That's the vibe. And so when he was born, everybody said, oh my God, he's exactly Henny. Like he looks exactly like Henny and he still does. But he has my eyes size. Like Henny's eyes are like, they kind of go like that, like opposite of Bella Hadid. Like instead of up, they go down. And he has that, but they're also big. 